Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Dungeon Boss Rune series. Today we're going to take a look at the rune that changed the face of PvP. So let's say hypothetically you are in this situation here and you're wondering, man, I got this taunt on Gortusk, is there any way I'm going to be able to survive that uh, brutal onslaught uh, coming from Agnon? Not that it's going to be this particular situation exactly, uh, or that it has to be from Agnon to Gortus. This was just the first example that I came up with. And uh, ultimately, we're going to go ahead and you know do something, try and survive here. Let's freeze Balog, for example, which there we go. And then let's do something like this here. Try and kill him. And then here comes Agnon doing his thing. Death sentence for Gortusk. Or is it? That is the topic of today's conversation because we now have a method to stop that from happening. Not saying that it's always going to go on Gortusk, but the Gortusk Agnon combination has been uh, a one hit kill pretty much uh, since Agnon came out. That's his basic mechanic. Higher the defense, and it's a one shot kill. But now we have the option to potentially uh, soak that. Maybe it's with Agnon and, uh, versus Gortusk. Maybe it's uh, somebody else, uh, literally anybody else on your team. So having this mechanic, and depending on who you put this rune on, may ultimately just save you the, the raid in general here. Does that mean I'm going to win this raid? Maybe, maybe not. They are a uh, higher level than me. Uh, if I can get a couple of good lucky strikes in here, we might be okay. Um, so not really any need to heal on this one, but the, the actual raid here is, is irrelevant. Uh, we'll get to the rune in a second. Just want to um, show you what that rune can do for you uh, in the long run. Assuming that you're able to use it in a good location. And this one's looking ultimately pretty promising for us. It's a little bit uh, different going against Barbarians when you don't have Ferno on your team. You really have to play it safe here. It can be pretty tricky. Um, but really, you got to rely on your crowd control quite a bit, which I just don't have uh, at the moment here. Here comes Balog doing his bull rush, and that's basically how those things go if you don't have Fernal. But uh, like I said, the, the actual raid itself is neither here nor there. So how are we going to deal with this ruin? So this is going to serve as both a, a quick little guide and some suggestions, as well as a PSA. So this last... Um, weekend. Uh, if you don't frequent these events enough, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the actual events themselves. And anytime we get something where we have, in this case, we don't have any right now, but anytime there's an event that actually has a leaderboard, double check that leaderboard. Because I'll, I'll admit, when the event came up and it said Portal Party, I really did not uh, think twice about it. And so basically my opinion was the portal party was uh, essentially a blatant cash grab, get people to spend as many heroic summons as possible for basically leaderboard glory or whatever it might be. Upon closer inspections, realize that if you did 25 heroic summons, you got a moderate rune. And by moderate, I mean pretty good, but not maxed out. But the functionality of said rune cannot be understated. And so the rune that was on this last event here was this unbreakable heart rune. So if you've not played with the uh, Ice Bloom for a very long time or you've never used her, Ice Bloom has this mechanic called uh, unbreakable heart, which basically spares them from a killing blow and then gives them one last chance. And so this here is basically a way for you to say, sorry, Agnon, you're not gonna one kill my guy this time. It's a water rune, so obviously you cannot put it on any single hero you want, but I believe you can put it on most of the ones that actually matter. Um, in this case here, Gortusk was my first um, first thought. But uh, you could also put it on Emily, for example. I think that would be a good one. People that you're worried about getting one shot by a, a well-placed uh, Agnon attack. So Emily, Zom, and um, Gortusk are, are tops on my list, to be honest. And um, possibly, well, Solaris can't have it. So, um, But those are my, my three top picks right now. If you have other suggestions on who you think this would go really well with, uh, especially if you're going to pair it with uh, a Taunt rune, for example, you can certainly do that. Keep in mind that this rune, this is not the same as the shield that the uh, the snakes get or the barbarians get um, um, 
when their things proc. This is just a basically, hey, you died, but we're going to give you basically a, a quick repeat. You can still get killed uh, from a multiple attack, so if Hagram's doing his jackhammer, he's still going to kill him on the, on the next hit. So keep that in mind that it's not a free shield like you've seen in other mechanics, but it is a good way to stop Agnon from one-shotting one of your people. Um, so it procs on a kill shot and gives them one health back. So keep that in mind uh, when you're doing future events. Uh, anytime there's a, a blatant cash grab event, just double check the leaderboards and see if there's something that you can do to get any sort of a prize. Now in some cases, doing 25 heroic summons was easy for me because I've been stockpiling them for months. Uh, for other people, uh, that that's quite a few gems because 2700 gems per 10 you're looking at roughly 6000 some odd gems in order to be able to get that uh, particular rune uh, in some cases it may be better just to go into one of the shops and uh, try to purchase runes but uh, this rune here was not something you could just blatantly buy uh, we've been asking for better runes for uh, quite some time this uh, extra damage towards legendary and, and junk like that they're great and all, but they're just simply not needed. What we need are more things like we've been seeing recently, where um, we get extra energy, or we get, uh, in this case, the saving from uh, a killing blow, or the ability to purge buffs, things like that. That's ultimately what we're looking for in high-end runes. And this one here can both be, uh, I, I feel like this is going to be a bigger game changer for PvP attacks than it will for defense. Defense is certainly going to benefit from it, but... Um, Probably not so much because you'll have um, the the PvP attacks kind of have a way to plan around it. Whereas if you're on the PvP attacker, you can pretty much use it how you see fit, and the defense wouldn't see it coming. Whereas on your PvP defense, if somebody sees that uh, Gortusk has this, for example, they might not even go with the uh, Agnon attack on Gortusk. They might do something else that's going to be more likely to kill him, like uh, for example, Hagram's Jackhammer. Um, so I do think it's going to work better for attacks. I think it's going to continue making the PvP attacks the favored uh, concept, I think, as far as the devs go. They're not real gung-ho on making these impenetrable defenses. I think it just creates too much backlash from the community. People complain, oh, they're all just using the Barbarians and they're impossible to beat, until somebody comes up with a team that uh, pretty much beats them every single time. Um, so I'm thinking it's just going to keep up with the same old uh, overpowered attacks, and then you're just going to lose on PvP defense. Um, that being said, there's still plenty of people that are getting 50% or better on their PvP defenses. If you feel like sharing that with the group, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, um, like I said, I usually assume PvP defenses to lose because people can do endless amount of planning. But as far as the PSA, like I said, uh, keep track of those events and then hopefully you wouldn't miss out on an event like this uh, where you get a truly a, a one-of-a-kind rune that uh, in this case here, I believe it is going to be um, quite the game changer as far as PvP. Now, I'm not dead set on using this on Gortusk. Um, my general assumption is Gortusk is there to soak up that death blow, um, which is fine. I feel like um, uh, this rune might be better off somewhere else, but I haven't decided on that just yet. It depends on who's being used most often in PvP, and to be honest, Gortusk is not high on my list, except for with that team that uh, you just saw with Gortusk, Valken, Hagram, and Solaris. That's a pretty solid team right now. But um, I don't use that for everything because you saw flat out that it's, it still is very susceptible to barbarians because we, uh, unless we have endless crowd control or that uh, burn from Ferno, it's just tough to survive against uh, a brutal onslaught of barbarians. So if you have any suggestions on who you think this would be best on, both for PvP attacks and defense, feel free to leave those in the comments. Otherwise, we will see you again the next time. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button. And be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie. There's only passion. We'll see you next time.